Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to tie a fly that works great for white bass and stripers. Hope you like this video. Please leave a thumbs up or subscribe if you like my channel. Okay, so what you will need is some ultra chenille in standard white. I got this from Old Florida Fly Shop. You'll need some mylar cord in silver, or you can use a uh, small in pearl but in case I'll be using silver. You'll need some black bead chain on this. You'll need some block tight, super glue. I use the gel. You'll be needing some Vivas, six odd, and white. And you'll need a, 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 a size 10 hook, a long shank hook. Let me see if it'll focus. There's just a long shank hook right there and that's what you'll need next time or next let's get to time okay guys so now it's time to get to time first you will put your hook into your vise and then you will be needing to get your thread you will place it on the bottom let me thread it for y'all guys real fast Right Take your threader, stick it up the thing, put the thread through the threader. And once you have that, you're ready to go. Okay, so you're going to start your thread right behind, not exactly behind it, but close to behind your eye. And we are not going to go all the way back. So go about, mm, not that far. But you're gonna go about uh, almost halfway. Then you're gonna come back up to where you've started. So now you're gonna take your bead, bead chain eyes, and you're going to clip off two. In this case, I use fingernail clippers. You can use wire cutters or whatever but clip off two of them. Okay, you're gonna clip off two of them, and then you're going to place your cutters, or clippers away. Now you have these two little things. Oop, I dropped it. Try not to drop it. All right, so now you're gonna tie them in, in the front. You're gonna make two wraps diagonal to your eyes. And then you're gonna go the other way, twice, wrap. Just these figure eights. Don't know how to do it, just make a figure eight. That's all the advice I can give you. You're gonna wrap it a few times. And then you will just like that. Now once you have it, you can go to the end. About where the hook starts to bend is where it's gonna be the best. And then you're gonna wrap all the way back up right behind your eyes all right once you've got that you're going to add some of this ultra chenille use about let's see about this long of a piece will be good you're going to tie it in right behind the eyes 
and you're going to make some wraps following it down. Make sure that your ultra chenille stays up. Make one wrap under it and then put your bobbin down. Now you're going to go, you're going to take it from the far side of you, you're going to take your top, you're going to go under that eye and on top, just like that. Now you are going to wrap five wraps, secure it, three, four, five. And now you're going to take it on your side and you're going to go over and then back your way and make three, two, five wraps. Okay, once you have that, you can take some of your scissors and you can snip it off. And you can go over. your thing to clean it up okay after that get your mylar cord take it out of the package now you're gonna measure about how long your hook is so you're gonna measure it twice so you're gonna start from the top you're gonna find your end Put it there, there, a little bit. And then you're gonna cut it carefully. Try not to make the cords in the middle frame. So now once you have that there, you can take a dubbing needle and you can push this thing through it. I'm gonna take this part out that away and now once you have it you're going to fold this in half and kind of make like a little crease now you're going to take dubbing needle again you're going to poke a hole through that middle part about the center of it and you're going to kind of go in circles sometimes you have to this process a few times but then you'll get it okay now you're going to place it you're going to take the top of it and wrap it and then you're going to capture it as in tie it make sure they're straight or they're strong tight wraps because you don't want it to get untied make about five wraps and then stop now this is a little bit of the harder part take your thing off of your vise and pull your thread back in this you're gonna actually push the hook through it. It's gonna be hard for me to show y'all guys. Let me get it real fast. Okay. So you're kind of just gonna just push it through, and then you're gonna put it back on your vise. So all I did was push that through your thing like so now you're gonna wrap it over and tighten it adjust it how you like it and then you're gonna keep on wrapping tight wraps and a few loose wraps 
don't pull too hard because this six, six aught, especially ten aught, it'll break really easy. So you just gotta be careful. Once you're done with that, you're gonna take your whip finish and you are going to hook it. You're going to whip finish it off. Do it five times. Three, four. I actually did it seven times because I mean it's gonna be strong anyways. You're gonna pull it, take your scissors and trim it really close. Now you're gonna take your Loctite, you're gonna open it up, and you're going to put Loctite where you whip finished to keep it strong so you just put some and like if you can see what I'm doing right now kind of just dabbing at it with the tip that should be good put your lid back on Make sure it's on there good, because you don't want this stuff to dry out. Wait a little bit for it to dry. That stuff is really sticky. Alright, it dries really fast, but oh, that's not the right tool. After you're done, grab your dubbing needle, and you're going to kind of go through these things and just separate them. So kind of just go through it and just pull it out. You can flap it and stuff to make it all messy and stuff. Kind of poke at it. You know, to get it to like move. And you can always go on the bottom of it and you can fix it even good there too. Just like that. We're all done. Please like and subscribe if you like this video or go subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.